Romeo Aquara. We can keep him. He's a fourteen and a half million dollar cap hit, but he's seven million of dead cap space. I can add you seven and a half million if you want to cut him. Yeah, Spencer's I, conflicted. Well, right. It's getting it's, folks, it's getting real here. I, I think that the money there, the seven and a half million, is is better. You can go and spend that. It's, it's the injury, Spenny, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't that the because is the injury? It's the availability, right? If I know he's available. Where are you at? Because I think we're at in the same spot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you could go either way because you could cut Aquara and then replace him with a Tyree Wilson or a Miles Murphy in this year's draft. I'll put it this way: I think, I think this is how you should look at it. Would anybody lose sleep if the Detroit Lions cut Romeo Aquara? Would anybody be questioning Brad Holmes if they decided to do that? I would not. I think that maybe. You could Josh pa- a healthy ja- Josh Pascal could take over that production that Romeo Aquar didn't even really have last year because he was hurt. So to me, if they want to add a couple of a little bit of cap space, I would have no problem with them cutting Romeo Aquara. Yeah, None. real quick, I don't think that they're missing out because they they never didn't have him. Yeah, right. so you know, I think that play does that play into it. I think Neil. I, yeah, so. I, I I think it does. I think the uh, the sentiment is that the majority of the people are saying you know you need to cut it. So. I'm going to cut it. Cut it. Yep, you got well, to cut hey, it. You are Holmes' right-hand guy, I am. so you right. get final say. So just like that, we have 23.3, which would then put us just under the Ravens. Still in 10th place, but just under the Ravens.